It ain't easy playing a support character in Overwatch 2 while your team is jumping around the map trying to shoot, bash, or throw balls at the other team. It's your job to help them stay alive while not dying yourself. As a healer, your main focus should be on healing instead of murder, but with Moira, you can do a little bit of both. Although, just keep in mind, she is still a healer, so, you know, you should, you should heal me from time to time. No one likes a DPS Moira. Please heal me. I'm Jamie Latour, and this video will show you how to play Moira in Overwatch 2. Now, of course, Moira has been playable since those Halcyon days of Overwatch the First, but there have been some slight adjustments made for her in Overwatch 2 that may throw off some longtime fans of this game. So let's run through her abilities to give both new and old Overwatch players a refresher on how to use this mean Irish lady. By the way, since this is a game that gets patched and updated quite a bit, there may be some abilities and numbers and values that may change over time. But currently, this is how Moira works. Moira is a support character that has a base health of 200 HP and will begin to regenerate health after not taking damage for 1.5 seconds. Moira's main ability is the Biotic Grasp. By holding down the right trigger or primary fire button, you'll spray yellow mist out of your hands that will heal your teammates for about 70 HP per second. This mist will also apply a slight heal over time effect. You only have a limited amount of healing that you can apply, as when this little gauge hits empty, you'll have nothing left to spray, and you'll need to wait for it to slowly refill, or refill it yourself. How do you do that? By attacking, of course. By holding down the left trigger or secondary fire button, you'll suck the life out of your enemies at a rate of about 50 HP per second. This will target any enemies close to you and lock on to them until they're out of reach or one of you is dead. While sucking, Moira will slowly regain some of her health and the life that you steal will also refill this gauge, giving you more healing juice to slather your team in. So your goal as Moira is to spray mist all over your friends while also sucking enough life out of your enemies to give you more healing. There are so many inappropriate jokes that I could be making right now, and I am showing tremendous strength by not making any of them. One of Moira's secondary abilities is the Biotic Orb, which has a cooldown of 8 seconds. By pressing R1, you can fire one of two kinds of Biotic Orbs. If you press R1 and then your primary fire button, you'll fire a healing orb that will give your teammates 65 health per second. This orb will last 7 seconds, or until it dispenses its maximum amount of healing, which is about 300 health. If you use R1 and your secondary fire button, you'll instead fire an orb that will damage your opponents at a rate of 50 HP per second. This will last 7 seconds as well, or until it's out of purple bad stuff, which is a maximum of 200 damage. Her other ability is called Fade, which is essentially a dash that lets you get out of danger. By pressing the L1 button, you'll fade out of existence for about one second, which will make you temporarily invisible and invulnerable. This has a cooldown of six seconds, and it will let you shake off any negative status effects. Finally, Moira's ultimate ability is called Coalescence. She basically fires a giant Kamehameha laser beam in a straight line for eight seconds that will heal teammates for 140 health per second and damage any enemies caught in it for 70 HP per second. To use Moira properly, you need to balance your heal healing and damaging output. As previously mentioned, your healing spray applies a heal over time effect. So when you're not in immediate danger, if one of your teammates needs health, it's better to use some quick sprays like this instead of holding down the healing button and using up too much of that gauge. Your healing can't penetrate enemy barriers, but your biotic orb can. That means that your healing orb can be quite handy if there's a giant barrier or shield in the way of you and your team. Moira's biotic orbs can also bounce off of walls. This means that if you get good enough with them, you can perform fancy trick shots to bank them off of walls like a deadly game of snooker. I'm actually not entirely sure what snooker is, but it's a fun word, so I'm using it. Snooker! 
in a tight space, having these orbs bounce around a room can ensure that you do a lot of healing or damage to whoever you're firing these things at. These orbs also travel faster when they're not interacting with someone, so shooting them towards friends or foes that are far away helps Moira be somewhat effective at longer ranges. Using the correct orb can make a big difference in a game, so you need to make some quick decisions on whether it's better to send out a good ball to heal your team or a bad ball to take out some low health enemies in any given situation. Moira's Fade will give you a slight speed boost when used, so in addition to escaping from harm, it's a good way to make up some ground and can even let you get some good air if you use its momentum and time your jumps with it. Fade can also be a good way to bait enemy abilities like Ana's Biotic Grenade or Tracer's Pulse Bomb, as you can fade away when these are used on you, which will waste that ability and make the other player feel quite dumb. Something to note for old Overwatch players like myself is that Fade once lets you escape from certain ults, like Sigma's Gravitic Flux or Zarya's Graviton Surge. However, from what I can tell now, this is no longer the case. So if you get caught in one of these types of sucky ults, Fade can't help you now. Finally, Coalescence can be a game-changing ult as it can heal your team, hurt your enemies, and pierce barriers and shields to reach the players behind them. Sometimes it can be best to use when there's a bunch of low health enemies who could be easily dispatched, or maybe your team needs some emergency healing, so using it to blast them with a steady stream of yellow health can be the best move. As you can tell by Moira's kit, there's always going to be the urge to be a DPS Moira that's running around sucking the life out of enemies like a demonic vacuum cleaner, but you also have to be able to support your team and restore their health as well. Playing Moira is a balancing act. That's why her abilities are all based on duality. The good and the bad. The yin and the yang. The healing and the hurting. The sucking and the bu- No, 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 not that last one, no. For more gaming news and guides, check out thegamer.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.